Hi everyone, welcome to the full moon lunar eclipse meditation. This full moon lunar eclipse is happening in Purva Ashada Nakshatra, which is Sagittarius, according to Sidereal Vedic astrology. And it's going to happen on the 4th or 5th of July, depending on where you are in the world. Now this nakshatra has the water god as its deity. And we're going to use water in the soul journey that I'm going to take you on. We're going to use water to cleanse the mental body. June was a really intense month. A lot came to the surface. That massive solar eclipse did give many people an injection of good new energy. But depending on what else got kicked up for you during June, you may be able to use that energy. You may not be able to use it. That energy will be around for another six months. Um, and this meditation is important in clearing out your mind, clearing out your mental body so that you can use that good new energy that, that definitely did come through uh, on that solar eclipse. It was a tough solar eclipse. The last, last month was tough without question, but there was some good energy that came through. So in this eclipse, what we're going to do is we're going to use this energy to really clear the mental body really clear any blockages, really clear our minds of what no longer serves us so that then we're freer, we're lighter, we're able to be creative, do what we want, get on with things, create the future without too many hindrances. Okay, so find a place where you can relax and be uninterrupted for a little while. You can be seated, you can be lying down. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you might want to find somewhere where you'll be cool and there's a nice breeze. If you're here in the Southern Hemisphere like I am, you'll probably want to get toasty warm. Maybe find a nice blanket or a pillow or something. But the point is, it's time to relax. So we're going to do some deep breaths in, deep breaths out. We're going to do three, so let's start the first one. Deep breath in. Hold. And let go. And on the out breath, make it a nice, long, deep exhale. And that can be through your nose or through your mouth. Whatever feels like you get the most release. Really feel all the tension leaving your body on those big out breaths. Feel all the mus muscles drop. Feel yourself truly relax. Okay, we're going to do another one. Deep breath in. Hold. And nice big exhale. In yogic breathing, they tend to say it's best to only breathe through the nose, which I agree with. But in a meditation, I, I, I quite like to exhale through the mouth as well, because it physically I can kind of feel my body relax. So we'll do one more. Deep breath in. Hold. And let it go. All right, now as this is a soul journey, we're going to do a little bit of work this time. Going to get you to crank up your imagination and picture yourself walking through a forest. It appears that the sun is setting. It's a beautiful forest. It's a magical sort of forest. It kind of feels like when you were a kid, you know, and you'd go somewhere magical and it has this timeless quality to it, this place that you're in. And as you walk through the forest, through the trees, there's a bit of a clearing. And you can see a river. There's an amazing river that flows. It flows quite gently but it's steady it's a steady stream it's quite wide 
and you go close to the edge of that river and you touch the river you feel the water and it feels really cool it feels really calming and it feels really cleansing and you know that this water is so clean because you can see every single little rock and every little bit of gravel and you can see everything through the water and you get a sense that if you wanted to drink the water you could but on this occasion you're not really here to drink the water the water is here to take away anything that's been blocking you and that's really what this river is all about so relax feel any tension in your shoulders any tension in your head any tension between the eyebrows in the jaw in that head area really feel all of that tension just release Keep your attention, keep your energy focused. Keep, keep your focus up in that head area, basically. And as you stand by this river, you notice that there's a basket just near you at the edge of the river. So you walk over to that basket and pick it up. And as you hold that basket and you're right by the edge of the river and the river is flowing, you close your eyes and you start to really get a sense of what is in your mental body. You get a sense of all the thoughts that have come up from the recent eclipses. We've had quite an intense June, quite an intense month. And lots of thoughts have come to the surface, lots of beliefs, lots of ideas, lots of concepts. And if we look at these last six months, a lot has come up to the surface in your mental body. Okay, a lot of thoughts. Now, what kind of thoughts might you want to let go of what's outmoded what's out of date what what no longer serves you think of your mental space as like a house and you're now going to gather all the concepts that you no longer need you're just going to do that energetically and they'll come to they'll start coming to the surface right now even if you don't consciously see them or realize them and i'll give you some examples of what kind of old thoughts you might want to clear. They could be really simple thoughts like, you know, that you, you realize that you're actually quite happy with little, you know, and all those thoughts you had about accumulating possessions and buying this or buying that, those have, those have gone away. You don't really need those thoughts anymore. Or perhaps an old thought like, the only way I can make money is through a giant corporation, right? Maybe that's not of interest so much anymore, or maybe it is. Maybe it still is, but you're going to be more fussy about the type of corporation it is. You know, health-wise, maybe you've discovered that... You don't need a diagnosis or a label before you can heal. That's a big thought, you know. So any thoughts around what you should do or shouldn't do regarding your health or, you know, maybe those thoughts are clutter in your mind and they're not allowing you to be free. They're not allowing the body to, to get what it really needs. body might just need sunlight and good food and no work, you know. So maybe all the thoughts you've had around your health, maybe some of those need to go. Perhaps you're realizing that there are as many versions of the truth as there are people. 
you know, all these thoughts we have around being right, being wrong. Do we need all of those thoughts? Perhaps you're also realizing that you don't need the thinking mind as much, that it doesn't need to run the show, that you are and you are eternal and your thoughts come and go. So as I've been saying those things and suggesting those things, see what consciously comes up in your mind. But if, if not much is consciously coming up, then just request that look any old thoughts that I don't need Bring them to the forward position of my mind. I want to kind of see them, feel them accumulating in my third eye auric space. Okay, so that's just kind of a few inches in front of your forehead. Try and see if you can feel the energy build there. The energy should build up in that region, so just two, three, four, five inches from your forehead outward, okay, just in front of you, just in front of your face, that area will fill up with energy. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn these thoughts into something material that you can see in your imagination. So after the count of three, these thoughts will turn into leaves and they will drop into the basket that you're holding by the river. Okay, so one, two, three. And like magic, all that thought energy has collapsed like a pile of leaves into that basket that you're holding. Now I want you to observe how heavy is that basket? Does it have a lot of leaves? Does it have a few leaves? And you might find that at different times when you do this meditation, the basket feels lighter, the basket feels heavier. I know for me, as I'm doing this now with you, my basket is quite heavy. <laughs> I've got a lot, a lot of leaves. And now in your imagination, you're looking at these leaves in the basket. And what we're going to do is we're going to sit by that river and put these leaves into the flowing river. And the current has cranked up quite a bit now. The river can sense that there's some old thought energy that needs to be cleared away so sit by that river and start to put your leaves into that river and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you now I'm going to put on some music or some more music there might already be music under this but I'm going to leave you and I'll give you a few minutes in which to just relax and visualize yourself putting those old leaves, those old thought forms into this cleansing river. And you are consciously eclipsing out any old thoughts that you no longer want to have. You know that these thoughts are not going to help you, especially any thoughts around confidence and worth, self-worth. Because we've got Venus here. Venus is... The Lord of Purvashada. Venus is all about worth. So any thoughts around I'm not good enough, I can't do it, nobody likes me, any of that. I'm not popular enough, I'm not this enough, I'm not that enough, I'm too this, I'm too that. All of those thoughts, dump them. Get rid of them. They have to go. All right, I'll leave you be. Enjoy. <laughs>